Hello, broccoli. You're all familiar with broccoli. In fact, if you're paying attention to your calcium, you say, gee, broccoli is a great source of calcium. But broccoli has also been making the headlines because it has a compound in it that is very protective against cancer, and that is sulforaphane. Sulforaphane can, is in broccoli, but it has to be activated by an enzyme in broccoli called myrosinase. So today I'm going to give you a little tip about how you can get the most anti-cancer punch from your broccoli. When you cook the broccoli, the enzyme that makes the activated sulforaphane, which sulforaphane is the anti-cancer component of broccoli, that enzyme becomes deactivated. So you can't really produce much of this anti-cancer compound if you are cooking the broccoli. An interesting solution to this, which was revealed to me by Dr. Ralph Moss, one of the most famous uh, uh, people who've investigated different cancer treatments around the world. He says you can simply, if you cook the broccoli, you can just eat a little bit of raw broccoli or even one single radish that has this moracinase enzyme in it. And that will be enough to activate and make the sulforaphane out of all the broccoli. And another interesting tip is that there's a leaf from South America and the, and the tropics called moringa. That is a common leaf that people eat as a food. That leaf has a lot of moracinase. To, it is able to make a lot of sulforaphane. So that is also a great trip, tip. I now put this moringa leaf powder right in my smoothie, and it's quite tasty, actually. So remember, broccoli is a great food, great for bone. It's also great to protect your immune system, to activate your immune system. But whenever you cook up your broccoli, have a little bit of raw broccoli, a little raw cauliflower, or even one single radish will activate that moracinase. If you're interested in learning more about the complexities of sulforaphane, and I predict that sulforaphane will be developed as an anti-cancer drug one of these days, if you want to learn more about that, go to foundmyfitness.com. This is a fascinating website by a young scientist called Rhonda Patrick. She makes her living researching topics she's interested in, in longevity topics, mainly anti-cancer topics, topics about preventing Alzheimer's disease. She makes her living doing that because individuals donate to her to do research and they get her reports. She's done a recent report on sulforaphane and interviewed one of the major researchers working at John Hopkins University. One of the researchers who's really discovered and worked with sulforaphane for decades. Go to Found My Fitness. You can found, find these interviews and these documents totally free of charge. Um, I certainly donate to her work. And if you want to have a step up in your knowledge, you might look at her, look at her reports. They're very comprehensive, and she is a true scientist. Have fun with it. Eat your broccoli, but maybe eat it along with a little radish. Talk to you soon.